Philippines, a beautiful place under the sun. Halina sa aming bayan, Pilipinas ng sila. The Philippines is home to many natural wonders of the world. There are 7,100 islands during high tide, 7,100 islands during low tide. The Philippines is situated along the basin of the Pacific Ring of Fire between the Eurasian and the Pacific Plates where there is a large number of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. The country is also along the Typhoon Belt near the equator, vulnerable to almost all types of natural hazards because of its geographical location. Disasters in the country usually are Typhoon, Earthquake, Volcanic Eruptions, Tsunami, Flag, Landslide, Drop, and Human Induced. What are the effects of disasters? loss of lives. Among the most destructive typhoons claimed a total of 32,245 lives from 1970 to 2012. Loss of access. From 1970 to 2012, a total of 50.4 billion pesos cost of damages to roads and bridges have hurt the Philippines. Loss of services. From 1970 to 2012, a total of 92.8 billion pesos damages to government facilities have hindered significant interruption in providing services to the public. The country's vulnerability to natural hazards alone cost the Philippine government an average of 15 billion pesos annually in direct damages or more than 0.5% of the country's GNP. The most destructive typhoons according to damage. The most destructive typhoons according to casualties. The most destructive earthquakes from 1968 to 2012. The major volcanic eruptions from 1991 to 2010. The major landslides from 1999 to 2006. There are episodes of human-induced disasters such as urban fires, air, land, and sea mishaps, and complex emergencies. Aside from these direct impacts, disasters have also derailed social and economic development since funds are reallocated from ongoing programs to finance relief and reconstruction assistance. The Philippines' risk profile for natural disaster is also reflected in the 2011 Global Assessment Report prepared by the United Nations International Strategy for Disaster Reduction. Based on the World Risk Index 2012, the Philippines places third out of 173 countries, ranked according to their risk score or their exposure to hazards such as earthquakes, floods, 
and storms, drought and sea level rise, its vulnerability and susceptibility, and its coping and adaptive capacities. It is also to be noted that the Philippines is significantly rising on the list, from placing 12th in 2009, then 6th in 2011. The world maps illustrate a society's or a country's vulnerability impact as a key factor in the risk to natural hazards and climate change. Annually, an average of 20 tropical cyclones enter the Philippine area of responsibility, of which six or seven affect the mainland and inflict damage to human lives and properties. Observations in Data For the past 10 years, from 2002 to 2012, 53% of the total number of tropical cyclones that have entered Philippine area of responsibility for each year were destructive. More than half of the typhoons have damaging effects to lives and properties. Region 3, Region 1, and Region 4A are the most frequently visited by typhoons. For the past 20 years, from 1992 to 2012, the most destructive typhoon usually occurred in the fourth quarter of the year, October to December. Within the fourth quarter, the most destructive typhoons have occurred in December. For the past three years, it has been observed that low-pressure areas caused by monsoons, although not developed into a tropical cyclone, have already brought damaging effects to lives, properties, and the economy. Low-pressure areas from the last three years that had destructive effects. 2010, 183 dead, 96 injured, and 74 missing. 3.4 billion pesos cost of damages. 2011, 185 dead, 191 injured, and 26 missing. 3.5 billion cost of damages. 2012, 180 dead, 33 injured, and 140 missing. 3.9 billion pesos cost of damages. Historically, tropical cyclones originate from the Pacific Ocean. However, lately, it has been observed that a number of weather disturbances were formed along the western seaboards. Don't let these horrifying numbers become real numbers in your local communities to your constituents. Disasters are like thieves in the night when people are unprepared. Community and government leaders must work on disaster risk reduction as if disasters can happen every day. Only then we can achieve a disaster resilient pillage.